Hey gamers, I'm sure you're all super excited for Kirby and the Forgotten Land, which is releasing on the 25th of March. We recently got a big new trailer from Nintendo which revealed a ton about the game, including some brand new features which have never been seen before in the series. So I've decided it would be a good idea to go over five of these significant brand new features which you'll want to know about before you play Kirby and the Forgotten Land. What exactly will we discover together? Well, let's find out. So I'm going to start this off with a big one that everyone seems to be talking about. It's honestly kind of hilarious. Kirby now has a gun, which is something that we haven't seen before in the Kirby series. And honestly, I was a little bit surprised to see them add this new power in. But you know what? After all of the memes with Kirby just holding a gun randomly, I think it's about time that he finally got one for himself. I'm really interested in seeing how this power works. I feel like it's gonna be really fun to play, but I guess we'll have to find out for ourselves when the game actually releases. So the town is something which is pretty major to Kirby and the Forgotten Land, it seems like, and this is definitely something new to the series. I really like that this is a sort of hub world, as it seems like, where you can do all kinds of different things and interact in many different ways. It reminds me of a lot of different RPG games, and it definitely feels like there are elements of that here in Kirby and the Forgotten Land, but again, we will have to learn more when the game actually releases. Still, I feel like this town is going to be a really fantastic place. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of fun stuff to discover here, which they didn't actually reveal yet, even though they did show off quite a bit here. I feel like it's going to be a really interesting and fun place, so I'm definitely really excited to explore this for myself. So it looks like this time around, Kirby will have new allies, which is really cool. Waddle Dees are usually enemies in the Kirby series, however it seems like they will be allies this time around and there's a lot of interesting Waddle Dees that you can see, especially in the town as well. So I'm honestly super excited to see what allies Kirby is going to get throughout the adventure, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of really cool ones. So you can get these really cute little toy collectibles in the game now, which I am honestly really excited about. It seems like quite a minor feature, but I think it's really cool. And of course, people love to collect different things in video games and in real life as well. I mean, look how popular Amiibo collecting has been over the years. And this definitely seems very similar to that. That's definitely where they got the inspiration, in my opinion. So I'm looking forward to this feature. I wonder exactly how it's going to go down in the game itself and I really can't wait to try it for myself and see what exactly I can collect since I do have quite the collector mentality, so I'm looking forward to it. We also have some new mini games as well. For example, you can go fishing now. I wonder if they took a note from Animal Crossing with that one. Seeing Kirby fishing is super cute. I really am looking forward to actually doing some relaxing fishing in the game and seeing how this mechanic kind of affects the rest of your gameplay or if it's just something more casual to do when you're not doing the main storyline of the game. Either way, I'm sure this is gonna be a really popular thing to do. Although fishing in video games tends to either be really hard or super easy, so I'm wondering which one Kirby will go for. I can't imagine it being super difficult in this game, but I'm sure it'll be fun nonetheless. You can also cook as well, which is really cool. Again, maybe taking leave from Animal Crossing? Probably not, but you still like to see it. And I think having lots of different mini games is gonna make this a really fun experience, especially to kind of break up the main sort of story of the game and all the exploring that you're definitely gonna do, because oh my god, this world just looks so huge and exciting, and I really can't wait to play around in it. But let me know in the comments section down below, are you excited for Kirby and the Forgotten Land? And what new features are you most looking forward to trying out for yourself when you get your hands on the game? If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on those channel notifications for more Nintendo news.